Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. So welcome back to the class. We have 17 students here, including me. And um, before just we start, before we just start today's meeting, I'd just like to um, introduce myself. Mungkin ada teman-teman di sini yang hari ini meeting pertamanya. So you guys can call me Miss Libby and I'm going to be your tutor for three months ahead. Approximately, you have 12 meetings. Jadi, teman-teman punya 12 meeting masing-masing. Silahkan dicek di grup yang masing-masing. Sudah beberapa kali mendapatkan link. Jika sudah 12, maka it's going to be ended. And saya juga akan informasikan apa sih yang akan dilakukan di um, meeting uh, sharing class, di setiap meetingnya. So, we are going to talk about um, daily topics, actually, or something that are related to your personal experience or your personal um point of view on something like um, saya usahakan bahwa topik yang saya bawa akan segeneral mungkin. Jadi teman-teman selalu akan bisa mencoba uh, untuk melatih skill speaking-nya melalui topik yang saya berikan seperti itu. Uh, jadi saya ulangi lagi, goals-nya adalah untuk uh, speak up. Jadi tidak ada jawaban yang dicatat tapi teman-teman maksudnya dicatat di chat box enggak enggak perlu tapi teman-teman uh, nanti Akan saya minta untuk raise hand. Mungkin saya punya kesempatan buat 15 sampai 17 student untuk raise hand, angkat tangan, untuk kemudian menyampaikan jawabannya tentang topik yang saya berikan. I hope that's clear enough, everyone. Dan topik malam ini adalah, silakan cek di chat box, saya sudah kirim. Uh, ya, yeah, topiknya adalah tentang tell me about a place where you grew up. Where is it? How is the environment? And what are the things that you like about it? Jadi saya mau teman-teman um, cerita tentang um, tempat di mana teman-teman tumbuh atau dibesarkan gitu ya. Misalnya dibesarkan di Jakarta, di bagian mananya, you need to be specific. Terus um, bagaimana sih keadaan lingkungannya gitu. Jadi tell me in detail please about tempat di mana kalian dibesarkan itu. Kemudian... Um, apa saja hal yang kamu suka tentang tempat tersebut. Jadi tentang tempat kelahiran atau tempat dibesarin deh ya. Tempat kamu dibesarkan. Karena biasanya ada yang cuma numpang lahir gitu ya kayak saya. I was born in Surabaya tapi saya grown up di Samarinda, East Kalimantan. Maka saya harus bercerita tentang Samarinda. Gitu. Jadi tempat kalian dibesarkan. Oke, okay, saya harap sudah clear enough. Teman-teman yang lupa pertanyaannya boleh lihat di chat box karena saya akan resend uh, terus karena kayaknya masih akan ada tambahan siswa yang masuk. Oke, okay, saya akan kasih waktu 5 hingga 8 menit, well, mungkin 8 menit untuk teman-teman bisa mempersiapkan jawabannya. Jika sudah ready, langsung saja angkat tangan. Jangan buang-buang kesempatannya karena nggak mungkin um, semuanya 27 orang ini bisa bicara gitu ya. So, um, silahkan dipersiapkan. Thank you.
Okay, I think the time's up. It's already around seven to eight minutes. And I have several, tadi kok kayaknya ada, udah ada beberapa ya? Satunya tadi cowok yang pertama kali, Kurniawan ya, oke. Okay. And then the second one will be Resna. I think I'll call Kurniawan first ya, yeah, because he raised the, uh, his hand at first, I think. He's the first one. Oke, okay, hello Kurniawan. Hello, Miss. Yeah, hello. It's your time. Uh, okay, I I want to tell you about a uh, place uh, I work I grow up. Uh, I was born in Jakarta, but I grow up in South Sumatra, presently in Banyuasin Regency. Uh, where I live, the the next door are very friendly and pleasant. Uh, it make me have it makes me happy living here. Finish, Miss. Okay, can you tell me uh, more, like, what are the points that you like about the place where you live? It's like the neighbor, they are friendly. Do you have more points, maybe? Uh, macet, Miss. Macet berarti yang nggak disukain, dong? Oh, macet enggak, enggak, Miss. Yang disukai? Uh, 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 Pemandangannya, Miss. Uh, view-nya, view. Oh, okay. View. The view is beautiful. Yes. Where is the specific city you are in? Sorry. Uh, Banyuasin, Miss. Banyuasin. Uh, yes, yes. Banyuasin. Oh, okay. I think that's new to me. I've never heard of Banyuasin before. Okay. So how long have you been living in Banyuasin? Until today or how? Are you still uh, living? Are you still living in Banyuasin until today? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you for sharing, Kurniawan. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is an example of how people were born in different places um, with where he or she is raised up at the grown up. Beda, and I think a lot of people experience this. And two things that Kurniawan said about um, the place where uh, he grew up, Tadi apa aja, they said about the beautiful view and also the friendly neighborhood or neighbor. A neighbor means orangnya, tetangganya. But neighborhood means, gimana ya neighborhood itu? Lingkungan sekampung gitu ya, kayak vibes di kampung itu atau vibes di um, perumahan itu. Yeah, that's we call a neighborhood. Okay, thank you, Yurniawan. Next, I have Resna. Thank you for turning on your camera. Saya terharu kalau ada yang nyalain kamera ya. Saya berasa di respected banget. Thank you. Hello guys, my time is yours. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Resna. Mm, I was born and grew up in Lelana Le or Nias. Nias town and still grew up here. Okay, uh, the environment here is comfortable and safe. Thank you. Can you explain more what makes it comfortable? <laughs> Because it's not mm. too detailed, please. Yeah, man, miss. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not the <laughs> meaning, but <laughs> what do you mean by comfortable? Apa yang bikin itu nyaman, for example? Is it the weather? Is it the people or what? Um, mungkin lingkungannya, orang-orangnya, terus Um, apa ya enggak ada kayak ke kejadian-kejadian kayak apa kriminal kriminal gitu oh oke okay. so there is less crime there ya yeah. sedikit kejahatan gitu ya berarti friendly semua nih ya <laughs> yeah. alright so it's in Nias ya yeah. right Yes, yeah. Yes is an island or a province. Island, an island yeah. kan ya? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Rupanya orang Nias cantik-cantik juga ya. <laughs> <laughs> Saya baru ini deh ngobrol sama orang Nias, really. Thank you, thank Nesna. You. Mm. Yeah, okay. thank you, Miss. Oh, ah, okay. Ini dia wajah mm. dari <laughs> dari Nias ya. Saya belum pernah. Kalau di Nias tuh bahasanya apa ya? Nesna, sorry. Apa? I'm less exposed to uh, Nias. Nias itu bahasanya apa? What language do you use? 
Bahasa daerahnya ada nggak? Ada, bahasa Nias juga. Bahasa Nias juga? Hmm. Ah, susah. <laughs> Gimana tuh contohnya? Uh, lumayan. Uh, is lumayan. it similar to Japanese? Atau ada yang mirip-mirip gitu, do you think? Hmm. No. Mirip-mirip. Unik? Hmm. Or ada yang no. mirip? Enggak ya. Oh, berarti very unique. Tapi okay. aksennya, tapi aksennya kayak orang Jepang. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Know about that. Oke, okay. thank you for sharing, guys. Okay, thank you. Oke, okay, jadi orang ini slogannya kayak Jepang. Saya jadi pengen temuin lebih ya about it. Oke, okay, thank you. That's from Re- uh, Resna. Living in Nias and there is less uh, number of crime. Very good because here in my city in Samarinda I think crime is, you know, it's kind of everywhere today. Like, apalagi sekarang, um, we're coming with the problem of um, sexual harassment. Itu kayak di mana-mana sih, jujur. Dulu perasaan enggak deh. But as the time goes by, the 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 case is increasing, increasing and increasing uh, day by day. I don't know what's going on here. Semoga saja lebih baik. Oke, okay, tadi ada pertanyaan dari Vindi. Kalau saya nggak hadir meeting ini, where can I find out the material? Jadi materinya tidak diberikan di mana-mana because this is a sharing class. Kecuali si Vindi mau nonton rekamannya. Bisa, teman-teman bisa nonton recordingnya di YouTube English Lab Classroom. Setelah meetingnya ended, nanti akan diupload di sana. Jadi teman-teman bisa nonton ulang. Oke, okay, Vindi mau coba bicara kah? Oh, microphone mati. Oke, okay, saya bacain aja. Uh, I grew up in a village in the province of East Java. I like the environment because it's cool and simple. Oke, okay. Vindi, can you add some more why you think cool? Ini apa ya? Dingin atau keren nih? Uh, yang mau disampaikan Vindi apa? Kalau dingin, it's cold and it's simple. Kenapa tuh East Java itu simple? Coba Vindi jelasin, nanti saya lanjutin ya. Oke. Okay. Vindi mungkin bisa connect ke eh, connect ke apa mikrofonnya mungkin biar bisa langsung bicara. Oke, okay, well waiting for Vindi, let's just go to Dadan. Dadan Kurniawan. I'm so sorry, Miss. I'm yeah? on the way to back home. Oke, okay. is it okay for you to speak now? Oke, okay, it's okay. Okay. But hello everyone. My name is Dadan Kurniawan. Okay. I'm from Garut, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, now I'm stay in Jakarta. Uh, uh, I work uh, at here, and yeah, uh, uh, so long uh, ago, I uh, I had I was live in Jakarta since twenty twelve. I uh, work uh, as a content designer and a personal assistant. Yeah, just get it. Thank you. Okay, let me repeat that then because your voice is not really clear. So you were working in Jakarta until 2011 and then... Yep. What? You you used to work in Jakarta in 2011? Uh, 2012. 2012. And now you're living in? In Jakarta. Oh, okay. Previously, you were in Jeva. Gitu? Atau di mana ya? Tadi yeah, gak kebingungan yeah. deh. Uh, 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 Jeva-nya mana tuh? Uh, Because Jakarta is also Jeva. <laughs> Udah ada. Uh, Come on. Before I go to... Uh, uh, When I was born, I uh, I stay in Garut. Oh, in Garut, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, after graduation, I go to Jakarta. Okay, okay, thank you. And you are working as a blah 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 designer, fashion designer. Uh, content designer. Content designer. Content designer. Oh, okay. So you're working with a YouTuber, something like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's good. So you create the scripts and the story plots of their uh, content. I just uh, make uh, some designer from the like uh, content, uh, content writing. 
and okay. uh, uh, content writing and then I uh, after the content writing I design that okay uh, I mean like uh, bahan tali ya okay so, okay yeah so, content is bahan you're right Okay, thank you, Dadan. So, okay, so I get it what that then means that you prepared all of the materials that will be um, apa ya, integrated in a content. Jadi apa aja sih yang kita butuhin di content, for example, like you um, design about the settings, you design about what are the um, story plots that need to be included in the content. Gitu ya, I think, wow, that's so cool. And previously you were living in Garut, but then you just enjoy your job currently in Jakarta since 2012. Okay, good to hear that. Hope that you can develop more in your current job because that sounds so interesting. Thank you, Dadan. Next, selanjutnya, saya punya... Siapa nih? Oh, dia raise hand dari... <laughs> raise hand yang ngirim emoticon ya, Rizka. Gak apa-apa, oke. Okay. Rizka Mahdale, siapa nih kepanjangannya? Saya bisa baca, kita cari aja di sini ya. Wait, wait. Mahdalena, Rizka Mahdalena. Halo, Rizka. Halo. Oke, okay, time is yours. Um, hello, my name is Rizka Mahdalena. I'm from in Samarinda. Uh, I was born in Samarinda and raised in Samarinda. Uh, I like Samarinda because uh, the, the diversity of tribes in this city. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, the what? Sorry, I didn't really get it. What do you like about the society, the diversity, and? Uh, maksudnya yang saya suka keberagaman uh, uh -huh. suku yang di Samarinda sini yang bikin oh, betah. Oh, okay, the diversity of the tribe. Iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Kita tinggal di kota yang sama loh, Rizka. Oh my god. Halo, oh. salam kenal. Ya, yeah. yeah, nice to know you. Kayak um I think for years ya, yeah, been teaching for nobody in Samarinda. Saya tuh jarang <laughs> banget dapat murid dari Samarinda. Usually they're coming from Jakarta or paling banyak tuh Medan usually. My private um Students are also not coming from Samarinda. So nice to know you, Rizka. Yes. So Rizka really like Samarinda because the society is very diverse. Rizka suka Samarinda karena um, society itu apa ya? Masyarakat yang sangat uh, beragam. Gitu ya, Berbeda-beda. Yeah. And right that we have a lot of tribe here. Kita punya banyak banget suku di sini. Mulai dari Jawa, Bugis. Itu ada Banjar gitu yang paling banyak kayaknya ya. Banjar, Dayak. Dan masih banyak lagi. Ini yeah, banyak sekali. And you can guys, um, you guys can find a lot of uh, traditional stuff about them, traditional information about them. Kayak ada daerahnya sendiri gitu. Misalnya di sini you can find a lot of details of about Banjarnis. Meanwhile, in this area you can get more details about Dayak uh, Dayaknis and uh, more uh, some more. So that I can just, I couldn't agree more with Rizka karena emang kita disini diverse banget and we are living in it. So it's just good to have this kind of positive society. Thank you Rizka. Next, I have uh, Vindi dulu deh. Vindi tuh kayak dari tadi udah bicara tapi gak lewat speaking. Siapa tahu Vindi mau coba. Sorry. Hello Vindi. Are you there? Sebelum ke Francisca dan Mayedi. Halo. I'll give you one minute ya. I'm gonna wait. Halo, Vindi. Oke. Okay. She's not there. Okay, I'm thinking so the panggil ya. Okay. Next I have uh Francisca. Karena Vindinya enggak ada. Hello Francisca. Hello. Hello. Yeah, time is yours, please. Yeah. Okay. My name is Francisca. I was born in Cilacap and grew up in Kawanganten. A village that is still 
city with gotong royong and many new tourist attraction that have just opened. Example, Havana Hills, the sunny swimming pool and cafe. Okay, that's all. Hello, mm. Francisca, do you want to add more? Ada lagi? Tidak. No. Tidak. <laughs> so, <laughs> where is the place once again, please? The name of the city? What's the name of the city, please? Nama city-nya tadi apa? Nama kotanya, Francisca? Nama kotanya Kawunganten. Kawunganten. Yes. Okay, benar. Okay, so that's thank you. Gimana? Gimana? That's village. Oh, that's a village. In where is it? Where is it specifically? That's bilang, village. Jangan bilang di Jawa ya. Jawa gede banget saya nyarinya susah. Jawa Timur, <laughs> Jawa Tengah, Central Java. Jawa Tengah. Oh, okay, Central Java. Kawunganten. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Francisca. So from Francisca, um. She told us about uh, where the place where she grown up. Itu di sebuah in a I think it's a very beautiful village. Dengannya, and also about the description that she told us bahwa sudah banyak tourism places there. Sudah banyak apa tuh, uh, tempat wisata baru yang ada di sana yang baru dibangun. But semoga saja tourism uh, attraction atau tourism places ini tidak mengubah. Kecantikan dan kenaturalan uh, si Kawunganten ini ya. I hope so, Francisca. So, pas itu um, tanggung jawab bagi pemuda-pemuda sekitar ya, Siska ya. Untuk mempertahankan si kebersihannya and stuff. Okay, thank you. Next, I have Mayeni. Thank you for turning on your camera. Saya senang kalau ada yang nemenin saya turn on camera. <laughs> Silakan, Mayeni. Sorry. Okay, uh, so... Uh... Hello, I am Mayeni, and now I am 18 years old. I was born uh, in Bangli. Bangli is one of the city in Bali. It's a small city, and now, until now, I grew up at I grew up at Denpasar. Denpasar is the capital city of uh, Bali. Uh, furthermore, uh, I live with uh, in the house with three big family here like i live with i live with my uh, grandmother family my uncle family and my family so uh, the, there's a lot of people in my house right now until now um i love the uh, environment here because uh, it's so warm i I I'm feeling all of the love from my family members, so yeah, it's it's good. Okay, is that all? Yes. Thank you, Miami. Such a, I think from your story, I can just imagine how how warm is your house, how warm is your environment where you're living now. You said that there are a lot of people around you now. You have your grandma and grandpa around you, and your uncles. And probably yes. some kids there of your uncle. Yes, maybe. so many kids here. Oh, okay. Like there are, there, there are six kids here. There are six kids. Are you a type of person who like to play with kids? Or not really? <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, so then I hope just you can just keep in touch with them. You can just sometimes play with them, right? For sure. Pastila, yeah. yeah. But you are their auntie. Yeah, dong ya. Oh no. Bukan dong ya. Uh, eh, gimana tuh? Big, big sister. Oh, okay. You're big. Oh, you're the big sister. Okay, thank you, Mayani. And I just know that. Thank you. Bangli is uh, is the name of an area in Bali. Saya tahu. Jujur ini baru tahu. Thank you for that. Okay. Kintamani, Kintamani, uh, Kintamani. Do you know Kintamani? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah there, uh, there is in Bangli. Oh, okay. Berarti Bangli ini lebih besar dari Kintamani okay. gitu ya? Uh, Kintamani ada di Bangli. Kintamani ada di Bangli. Oke, okay. iya, iya. 
Jadi saya bisa tanya sembulan tuh Bangli lebih besar daripada kita maninya ya. Because it, kita mani is only a part of Bangli, so there must be another area. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mayani. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting. Saya udah punya banyak orang dari berbagai belahan Indonesia. It makes me so happy, so so very very happy, so so very very gak tuh ya by grammar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next I have Carmila. Carmila Ito, saya tebak dulu dari namanya ya. Saya berharap dia dari Medan. Benar gak ya? Halo, Carmila. Halo. Oke, okay, uh, time is yours. Carmila. Uh -huh. okay. uh, my name is Carmila. I grow up, grow up on the Teraya Island. One of the island in Labuan Bajo. Okay. <laughs> And then I like here. Uh, I like here because uh, there are a lot of good view. Okay. Maybe Komodo, Adar, um, and many islands. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Okay, yes. Carmila, would you mind to mention one more the name of the island where you live in? Apa tadi namanya? Islandnya Kra... Kraya. Kraya Island. Kraya Island. Kraya. Pulau Seraya. Pulau Seraya. Kraya. Iya, yeah, Kraya. Kraya besar. Oh, Seraya. Sorry. Okay, Seraya Island in Labuan Bajo. Oke, okay, ini saya nggak bayangin lagi cantiknya gimana ya. Tapi tebakan saya salah. Saya kira mm -hmm. kamu dari Medan, Carmila. Bukan ya? <laughs> so, you were born and grow up there. Thank you, Carmila. Jadi dari Carmila, she likes a place where uh, she grown up because there are a lot of island around it. Yeah, there are Komodo Island, tadi apa lagi ya, beberapa nama island yang dimension. So, I, I think Labuan Bajo is currently very trending ya. I don't know that. Kayak lumayan banyak tuh berita yang bilang bahwa di Labuan Bajo, ah, apa ya, tentang, kalau nggak salah, the increase price of tickets in Labuan Bajo. Bener nggak, Carmila? Am I right? Iya. Yeah. Lagi, lagi rame karena harganya mau dinaikin, <laughs> gitu ya? Iya, yeah, sekarang oh. ini uh, di kota orang lagi pada uh, tutup blokir. Pokoknya satu bulan, selama satu bulan itu tidak boleh ada perjalanan yang wisata karena? karena itu kenaikan tiket yang sangat drastis kenaikan tiket yang sangat drastis okay. e, untuk sepadar itu kita harus mengeluarkan uang sebanyak 3 juta lebih untuk masuk okay. saja ke Pulau Padar <laughs> oke okay. untuk masuk ke Pulau Padar perlu uang 3 juta masuk tuh ya belum makan belum tidur ya masuk doang iya hanya sepedar wow. melihat view Okay. Ini sangat uh, dari delapan puluh lima ribu tiga juta dari delapan puluh lima ribu oh my god itu berapa persen ya the increase is very wow it's very extreme thank you Carmila for sharing so this is just I think you guys already know about the beautiful of Labuan Bajo the beauty of Labuan Bajo and the price increase It happens extremely in Labuan Bajo, and I think I don't know. Probably we just um, apa yang kita bisa lakukan ya dengan increase itu? Maybe we just need to wait yeah, until the price become uh, normal, like just just usual. Tadi dari eighty five thousand rupiah to three million rupiah itu doesn't make sense at all. Huh, okay, thank you, Carmila. Kita kalau mau ke Labuan Bajo tunggu kondisi kondusif aja ya mungkin nanti Carmila bisa kabarin. Oke okay, next I have Ica, Ica Vanska. Oh, ya saya pernah namanya udah. Halo Ica. Ica. Halo. Oke. Okay. Ya yeah, I can hear. Um, I was born and grew up in Lumajang. Lumajang is Wanna city in the East Java, in the southern of East Java. If you wanna see the dealer, where is it? You everyone can check it on Google. <laughs> Sorry. 
and the environment about the city here is clean enough. I mean, the road, and there is a lot of natural tourism like waterfall, lakes, and mountains. And the last, what are things that I like about it? Um, nothing, exceptionally ordinary. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just that was. Okay, so you can say you, your last sentence say that um you're actually have no reason for loving your place where you're born. Is that right? So aku cinta kamu apa adanya gitu ya. Is that right? But then one of the things that you like about Lumajang is that about the uh, it's clean. It's clean about the environment, the tourism places and stuff there clean enough. I think you remind me of a city nearby. Uh, di Pai Samarinda, we have balik papan here. Saya lupa banget nama penghargaan yang buat kebersihan itu apa ya, Adipura, if I'm not mistaken. So we usually receive it, bukan we ya, but balik papan usually receive it. Anybody, anyone who comes from balik papan di sini? Ada yang datang dari balik papan? Saya harus akuin sih, balik papan is very clean. And maybe Lumajang um, reminds me of something like balik papan because Samarinda is nothing compares to balik papan or maybe Lumajang. Kita masih banyak banget sampah, and I hope someday I can live in such a clean place, clean environment, and I believe that it's going to be very, very, very comfortable for us to travel. Semua yang bersih, jalan-jalan gak perlu terlalu takut kena polusi, and stuff. Okay, thank you very much, Ica. Next, I have um, Gra Gracia. Gracia Gloria. Hello. Hello, Miss. Okay. Uh, my name is Gracia. I'm from uh, Manado. Okay. Uh, a few years ago, I start to wonder last year in Kalimantan and now in Bandung. Okay. <laughs> There are interesting things everywhere. <laughs> um, And the city that I like is Bandung because the people are friendly and uh, there are many natural attractions. Okay. <laughs> that is all? Yeah. Okay, so wait. You were born in Manado and you've been living in Kalimantan and Bandung. Gitu, bener? So you moved between these two cities? Okay, but among Kali Kalimantan, mana nih? what city that you're living in, Russia? Gimana? Masih di mute, Russia? Masih di mute. Wait, wait, wait. Saya bantu, saya bantu. Okay. Uh, Kalimantan Utara, Tarakan. Oh, Tarakan, okay. In Tarakan, but well, be between Tarakan and Bandung, you prefer to live in Bandung because the people are friendly and there are a lot of natural tourism places. Okay. I agree. Thank you, Gracia. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. I feel kind of familiar with the city of Tarakan eh, because I've been there for several times. I don't know, yeah, but... Mungkin ada di sini dari Tarakan. Saya kalau compare Tarakan sama Bandung or the other cities, I can say that Tarakan is very, I don't know, I think they're sufficient for the people. Saya bisa bilang gitu ya, saya bilang ini kota ini kurang developed or how, but kayaknya dia cukup aja gitu. Jadi kayak we see a mini city in Tarakan. Buat saya sih itu kayak mini city yang uh, kota kecil kita bisa puterin dalam waktu yang singkat kita juga bisa enjoy everything there dan buat teman-teman yang suka privacy I think Tarakan tuh nomor satu sih soalnya gila macet juga kayak belum ada deh ya enggak sih ya macet belum ada ya macet belum ada um, di situ aja betul pantai mungkin emang mereka cuma punya satu ya namanya pantai Amal Amal Nalatung tapi cukup lah ya ya benar Cukup, cukup. Benar kan? Jangan saya bilang itu nggak bisa dibilang kurang, nggak bisa dibilang berlebih juga for people to live in. Itu tapi cukup. That's just sufficient for people to, yeah? To entertain themselves. Well, thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, Gracia. Oh, Vindi tidak mau ya? No, oke. Okay. Tadi saya udah bacain ya, Vindi, jawabannya dan sudah didengar sama teman-teman. Oke. Okay. Terus buat mungkin yang masih tanya, uh, di mana bisa mendapatkan materinya. Jadi materinya nggak akan di-share secara tertulis, tapi recording ya nanti akan ada di YouTube. English Lab Classroom. Saya tulisin ya, silahkan di-subscribe dan ditonton di sana. Oke, okay, next saya Siska. Siska Ulia, halo. Halo. Oke, halo. Oke, firstly, I want to introduce myself. My name is Siska Ulia and I am... I, I was born and grow up in Bogor, West Java. Um, I'm my env 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 environment and my and oh, I live at the village and my environment so good because my neighbor so kind and friendly with others and the reason why i why i like my village because the vibes and the views is so wonderful and we have a lot of destination place is that all from me Is that all from me, Miss? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I heard someone is whispering beside you. Who is that? <laughs> uh, I'm in my right now. <laughs> Agak serem gitu. Ini soalnya saya pakai headphone, jadi <laughs> kedengaran banget gitu. Teman-teman yang nggak pakai headphone mungkin nggak dengar ya. Jadi dia because takut gitu. Um, Ada yang bisikin I'm saya. nervous because this is my first time to join this Zoom meeting. Okay, okay, then I will come in. Welcome on board, Siska. Thank you. Makasih ya, udah coba berbicara pada first meeting. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to review sedikit about, uh, about Siska, sorry. So she told us that Siska tinggal di Bogor, in a village in Bogor, gitu ya. In a village in Bogor. And she really liked the village because She has a kind neighbor, neighbors. Tetangga-tetangga pada baik, pada sopan. Saya, I can feel it sih. How, how um the neighborhood or the neighbors can be very different in um big cities and in a village. Saya rasain banget. Uh, once I've been in a holiday. Gak once ya, twice. I went to Malino. Aduh, kak Malino ini Sulawesi apa ya? I don't really know. Malino, if some of you are coming from Malino, I really like the place. I think it's a very small village uh, in a mountainous area. Di kayak area pegunungan gitu, udah kayak dingin, orangnya friendly, saling membantu, and it's very beautiful. Itu yang bikin beautiful tuh itu. Meanwhile, when we are living in a big city, um, your problem is yours. Not even my business gitu. Uh, itu sangat terasa banget sih. So, bersyukur lah buat teman-teman yang masih punya kesempatan to live in a village. Thank you, Siska. Dan tadi juga ada lagi good vibes, beautiful views, and a lot of destinations to go. Oke, okay. thank you. Oke, okay, ada lagi. Kayaknya kok banyak yang cewek ya? Yang cowok bersuara apa ya? Saya panggil yang cowok-cowok deh. Oh, ini ada Bifta deh. Eh, Bifta cewek. Sorry, sorry. Bifta mau? <laughs> Bifta Hujana Mau coba? Karena kamu udah on cam nih Sayang banget nih kalau gak diungkapkan isi hatinya ya kan Silahkan Hello ya. everyone My Hello. name is Bifta Hujana I was born and raised On the island Sumatra uh, pres More presently in the city of Pekanbaru I like this city because uh, It has some kind and friendly friends. Thank you, Miss. Okay, what about the people in Pekanbaru? I mean, the society, are they friendly enough? Mm. Friendly? Yeah. Okay. Satu lagi. Soalnya Mifta mau buru-buru nih. <laughs> Satu lagi saya mau tanya. 
Uh, do you think there are a lot of crimes in Pekanbaru? Or do you think no? Uh, crimes. Oh. Uh, crimes is kejahatan. Menurut kamu banyak kejahatan gak di Pekanbaru? Or is it a safe place to live in? Yeah. Uh, banyak, Mim. Banyak, banyak. Oke. Okay. Wow. Jadi gak terlalu aman atau gimana, Mifta? Atau gak ada tips, maybe? Iya, enggak terlalu aman, Miss. Kalau udah malam. Kalau udah malam. Oke, okay, so it's better to stay at home at night. Yes. Oke, okay. thank you, Mifta. Oke, okay, Miss. Oke, okay, padahal Mifta nyiapin jawaban loh. Lain kali raise hand aja, Mifta, ya. Sayang jawabannya. Oke, okay, Mifta from Pekanbaru in Sumatra. And she claimed that she had a lot of friends. She has a lot of friends. Karena masih punya sama sekarang. She has a lot of friends in Pekanbaru, but she claimed that there are quite a lot of crimes at night. Lumayan gak aman ya katanya si Mifta. Sama sih kayak di sini ya. Kalau udah malam, I don't think it's safe for us to go. Especially for women to go on ourselves. Cewek-cewek pergi sendiri pasti gak aman juga di sini di sama Rinda. Sangat, ya bukan sangat tinggi juga sih ya. Di tengah-tengah lah ya. Mungkin sama kayak Pekanbaru. So it's much better for us to go home or... Arrive at home before 9 p.m. Maybe that's gonna be safe. Okay, thank you, Mifta. Next, I have cowok. Alhamdulillah, ya. Akhirnya cowok bersuara juga, ya. Silakan, Reza. It's your time. Okay. Hello, Miss. Uh, yeah, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, for the first time, uh, um, uh, sorry, my practice English is not good but i try my best yeah good that's fine uh, okay my name is uh, reza preman gunning i grew up in city kalang sumatra utara uh, in this environment but, uh, i like this uh, place because this place have uh, friendly people and have a beautiful view like uh, sunrise and uh, what uh what is premier what is what is um, uh, familiar uh here uh, is coffee okay thank you what is familiar there is uh coffee coffee okay yeah. should be calling coffee okay thank you very much guys uh Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so Sidi Kalan is in West Sumatra, ya? Yeah? yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. okay. This is, this is a new place to me. Actually, I'm I'm not a person who is really into coffee, but my husband uh, does. So this is just very interesting because the last time I bought a very special coffee, it comes from Toraja. Kopi apa ya? Dia hewan yang... Saya tahu mungkin ini agak menjijikan bagi kalian ya, <laughs> buat yang nggak suka kafe. Tapi kopi yang saya beli kemarin itu namanya adalah binturong kafe. Eh, binturong itu kayak hewan sejenis luwak gitu. <laughs> But it, it comes with a bigger size. Jadi si binturong ini hewannya agak lebih besar daripada luwak. Lebih gemuk gitu ya, lebih banyak juga bulunya karena dia lebih besar. Tapi kopinya juga ya harganya mirip-mirip lah ya sama si kopi luwak itu. And that's very... Very um, delicious. Maybe sometimes I should uh, try Sidi Kalang Cafe yeah, in cafes. Thank you. Um, aduh, siapa tadi? Reza. Okay. Sidi Kalang Cafe. Saya mendengar nyatet sih. Okay. Thank you very much. Next, I have Christine Dwi. Cahyani Rini. Cewek. Hi, Christine. Hello? Hello. Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Christian. Yeah, this is my first time to stay in place. I'm very nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm from Sumatra. I live in Kupang. Kupang. Okay. Yeah, this city is really so different with language, culture. And the religion, I really like this place because I can live simply and respect each other different. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Christine, let me repeat. You see that you're living in Kupang and around you there are lots of religious people. And you can live sim in a simple way in Kupang. Bener, Christine? Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, um, Christine. Kupang ini a province ya, Pak? Nusa, apa nih? NTT, NTT. Oh, NTT ya? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Christine. So this is your very first meeting too. I welcome you to the class. Terima kasih banyak, Christine, ya. Sudah hadir yes. dan mencoba bicara di first meeting. I appreciate it. Jadi Christine datang dari Kupang, Nusa Tenggara Timur, gitu ya tadi ya. Okay, and she admits that there are lots of, um, that she's living in a religious neighborhood, gitu ya. Lingkungan atau society yang religious, and they're living in a simple way. Probably what she mean by simple means, mungkin mereka maksudnya nggak hedon gitu ya. Hidup se, ya. Yeah. Simple aja, sederhana gitu ya. I really like this kind of situation. Oh my God. Kupang, it makes me imagine like a place that is really beautiful with a lot of beautiful views. Saya juga kayak pernah lihat. Oh, okay. I've never been there. But hampir ke sana. But I've ever browsed a bit about Kupang and it's a really beautiful city. So thank you very much, Christine, for sharing. Okay, we still have seven minutes. Anybody wants to add some more responses? Faiza, okay, thank you. Very responsive. Saya suka banget. Silakan Faiza, it's your time. Hello everyone. Uh, can you hear my voice? Yeah, it's clear. Very clear. Okay. okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Faiza. I was born in Semarang, Central Java, and I grew up in Semarang until now. How is the environment in Semarang? Mm, about the natural environment, Semarang has many beautiful places which are also uh, to be destination, destination, yes, such as Old City of Semarang, Lawang Sewu, Saloka, Dusun Semilir, Dusun Semilir etc. Besides that, um, Semarang is full of Japanese natives and they are fun and friendly people, I think. Many immigrants from outside Semarang to outside Java, luar Semarang dan luar Java yang datang ke sini uh, hanya untuk sekedar mengunjungi or stay temporarily or even stay forever. I don't know. And uh, what I like about the city of Semarang is that I think very every place in Semarang has its own memories. Oh yeah, if you know and if you are like scrolling TikTok, lately there's a video trend showing that many people have failed to move on or come on with the city of Semarang. And I agree with that. Even though I'm 19 years living in Semarang, I enjoy and proud to be born and live in Semarang. So that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Faiza. So, all I can say is Semarang is a city full of memories. Kayaknya trending, nggak bisa move on dari, atau gamon itu ya, guys. Gamon dari Semarang. Ini it also happens to Pare, ya. A city of memories, ya. Yeah. Kayaknya saya pernah nonton si kontennya. Semoga saya nggak gaptek-gaptek amat, ya. But, um, I've, I think I've watched some videos about that, about how a city can bring a special memory into your uh, into your head. And Faiza has been living in Semarang for 19 years. And you, what you like about it is that a lot of tourism places and a lot of memories that you have in, oh, in each place in Semarang, in every place in Semarang. So I can just imagine that Semarang sounds like a very beautiful city where a lot of people can create beautiful memories, say so. Kalau dibayangin mungkin Semarang ini kota yang gimana sih, Faiza? Apakah ini vibesnya romantis gitu apa gimana ya? Kan saya nggak pernah ke Semarang. For you, how is the vibe of Semarang? Romantic, hmm. fun, or how? Uh, semuanya ada, Miss Ruth, saya. Oke, okay. baiklah. Yeah. Jadi It's... tempat tempatnya penuh dengan memori sih. Kalau okay. misalnya di satu tempat ada yang untuk... Uh, 
romantis ada tempat yang apa ya yang untuk seru-seruan juga ada untuk ngegalau ada juga mungkin ya Faiza ada juga oh baik 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 so it's <laughs> a very complete CD to visit thank you Faiza I think someday okay. I should visit Semarang deh ya because it's never be on my um list of destinations saya belum pernah masukin Semarang jujur kayaknya harusnya so oh, let's see Okay, the last one I have. Oh, thank you, Faiza. Sorry, the last one I have. Weti, kita cuma punya tiga menit lagi. Jadi saya cuma bisa masukin satu yang lagi. Ada Weti, silakan Weti. Oke, okay, Miss. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. My name is Zulkifli. I was born in Tobadak, sebelas eh. 11 of September 2003. I now I live I live in Mamuju. Mm-hmm. But Tobada Tobada is someone some city in some what some village in Mamuju Mamuju ah, okay. tengah. And in Mamuju. We can enjoy many tour, some beach, waterfall, and another tour. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, what's your real name? Once again? Zulkifli. Zulkifli? My real, my real name is Zulkifli. Oh, okay. Bukan Weti. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Ini nama siapa yang kamu pakai? <laughs> Come on. Ini nama samaran gitu ya. Oke, okay, thank you. Nama samaran. <laughs> thank you, Zulkifli. So, yeah, uh, she's living in... Oh, he is living, sorry. He's li- he was born in Tobada. It's a village in central Mamuju. But now, he's currently living in Mamuju gitu ya. Jadi kayak the city center probably. <clears throat> And what... Uh, he likes about Mamuju is that there are a lot of, I think it's going back to natural tourism attractions, yeah. And there are beaches and waterfalls and others. Berarti kayaknya tourism attraction-nya lebih ke alam-alam gitu ya, saya. Kalau di Samarinda, wah parah banget sih. Yang alam gini susah banget. Giliran ada alam gitu, pasti ya nggak bisa sih nemu yang biru gitu ya. Susah nemu yang biru-biru lautnya atau yang bersih itu susah banget. Very, it's I think it's very rare in Samarinda. Mungkin kita harus pergi berjam-jam dulu ya ke nearby cities. Okay, uh, let's come to Samarang, Miss and Friends. Okay, I hope, I hope so. Semoga ya, panjang umur dan ada kesempatan ke sana gitu ya kan. Semoga. Okay, thank you very much everyone. I think I need to end the meeting now. Uh, okay, guys. I will to. I will. Apa tuh? I will to Semarang cause my study. Apa tuh, guys? Resna. Oh, Resna mau ke Semarang karena karena kamu sekolah di sana gitu. Maybe. Okay, saya mau end meetingnya jadi nggak enak nih ya. <laughs> Lagi ada yang cerita cerita di sana gitu ya. Oke. Okay. Uh, saya mau ingetin teman-teman. Misalnya mau ada yang ber tukar nomor telepon atau bukan nomor telepon untuk hal yang seperti apa ya tapi misalnya teman-teman mau cari uh, teman buat sharing, teman buat latihan speaking, boleh silakan bertukar nomor telepon, bertukar apapun itu di kolom chat secara private itu supaya nggak mengganggu teman-teman itu boleh banget gitu, jadi jangan malu untuk berinteraksi satu sama lain ya, feel free to do that silahkan aja and then saya mau ingatin, jangan lupa hadir lagi di meeting selanjutnya, buat yang hari ini belum bicara Saya harap next meeting udah bisa coba bicara meskipun pendek-pendek. Nanti juga saya harap. Goal saya sih setelah 12 meeting masing-masing dari kalian tuh udah bisa ngomong 1-2 menit gitu ya. Dengan uh, dengan apapun topik yang saya berikan. Uh, that's just an ideal time. Itu waktu yang sangat ideal buat kita membiasakan diri. To have a short speech. Untuk buat kita bisa bikin short speech apa ya. Speech. Saya tahu speech itu di Indonesia. Karena pokoknya speech pendek gitu ya. Speech, speech pidato apa ya? Bukan pidato juga sih ini sebenarnya. Kayak ya, yeah, explain about something in one until two minutes is very, uh, it's just very um, appropriate gitu. Udah-udah cukup banget 1-2 menit. Jadi itu goals teman-teman semua. 
Hmm. Oke, okay, silakan di screenshot tuh nomornya Fakih, nomornya Zulkifli juga silakan. Oke, okay, I think I need to end the meeting now. Thank you very much and I'll see you again in our next meeting next week. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, <laughs> Miss. Thank you.